All righty, everybody. What is going on? Welcome back to the Journey with Sports podcast. Today, going to be bringing you guys a tier list. We've done some of these before, but nothing quite like this one. So hoping that you guys all enjoy this. But we're going to be doing a tier list for all the NFL teams based on where they are right now. Um, this is going to be pretty much as unbiased as I can be. And these are all my opinions, so feel free to tell me uh what you think in the comments so we'll go ahead and start with the first team here which is the Arizona Cardinals who now that they have Kyler Murray back are on a much better track but to me I still think they've got a long way to go um I do like I said I like Kyler Murray I like some of the pieces they have I think they're getting better and smarter as a franchise but they still have a decent way to go so for the Atlanta Falcons this is my opinion one of the most disappointing teams from this year especially with them drafting Bijan they have a top 10 drafted running back tight end receiver all heavily underutilized Um, I'm hoping that for all of their sakes Arthur Smith is gone after this year and they look to go quarterback in a draft that should be quarterback heavy I'm going to put them positive for next year. This is also on a caveat that Arthur Smith is gone. So I like a lot of the pieces they have. The defense is much improved, but quarterback play and the coaching still has a ways to go, in my opinion. So moving on to the Baltimore Ravens, this is a playoff lock for me. I think, obviously, with Mark Andrews getting hurt, that's going to tank their stock a little bit in terms of the postseason, but the Bengals now are pretty much out of it. Um, With Joe Burrow being hurt, the Steelers and the Browns are pretty much just fully relying on their defenses. And I think Baltimore has a, a lot more balanced and complete attack as a team. So put them in the playoff lock, playoff hopeful, Buffalo Bills, um, they are in a peculiar spot right now. They have well underperformed to a lot of people's expectations. Um, for me personally, I'm not a big Josh Allen fan. I think he's pretty overrated. Um, just That's just me. They are second in the AFC East, but their schedule gets no easier. They have... They play at the Eagles, then a bye week, then at Kansas City, Dallas, at the Chargers, Patriots, and at Dolphins. I think that is a very, very tough schedule to close. They're 6-5 and five right now, and they would be in the playoffs ended today, but I'm not entirely sold, sold on the Bills just yet. So I'm going to put them in playoff hopeful, but it is a team I do expect to make the playoffs. Next up, we got the Carolina Panthers. This one's easy, long way to go. They sold a lot of their long-term stock to go get Bryce Young, which he's got a pretty bad team around him, so I don't feel entirely comfortable saying my full opinion on Bryce Young. Um, I, If you ask Cater, even if you go back in this, I felt like C.J. Stroud coming into this draft was the best quarterback, but... I mean, I hope Bryce Young can turn it around for Carolina, but I think they, they now have a lot of holes to fill on that team. Chicago, this is an interesting one. I really like their roster. I think the quarterback needs some addressing. They'll have two very high picks this year. I think there is more positive than negative, so I'm going to put the Bears into positive for next year. I think quarterback going to be a big question with Justin Fields do you want to give him one more year and as long as they don't have a bad draft I think this is a team that is just going to continue to get better so Bengals positive for next year just because of losing Burrow Uh, I think they definitely have some some question marks that they need to look at but man I mean got a feel for them that is a that's a tough injury especially at this time in the year when they were starting to make a push. But I'd I'd be very surprised if, if they do make the playoffs. So I'm going to put them in positive for next year, I think. I don't think there's enough talent. I mean, I think that team is extremely talented, but I don't think they can take who 
whoever their quarterback is to the playoffs. So Cleveland Browns are next. Put them in playoff hopeful as well. Um, no Deshaun Watson for them the rest of the way. Dorian Thompson Robinson, uh, he got his first win against the Steelers on Sunday. Didn't really watch much of that game, but it seemed like a typical Steelers Browns game, low scoring, a lot of defense, not a lot of offense. So I, mean, I think the Browns definitely with the record they have now, um, I think they can they can definitely make the playoffs. I'm just not quite sure what that quarterback situation is really gonna unveil into. So Cowboys are next. It's pretty obvious they're gonna make the playoffs. NFC is pretty weak this year, if you ask me, so I'm put the Cowboys in the playoff locks. That one's pretty easy. The Denver Broncos. Um, I'm going to put them into the playoff hopeful. They are second in their division right now. Don't don't think they'll catch the Chiefs by any means, but this is a team that is heating up. Russell Wilson playing pretty well this year. I mean, I would, I would have him. And I think he might have beaten the washed allegations. I don't know quite yet, but. I really like the momentum of the Broncos. Um, I mean, there's no reason why they can't make it. They just got to keep playing well and stay healthy. So really happy for them. Seems to be be turning around finally for for that team. So Detroit Lions are next. That is going to be a playoff lock. Um, that big comeback on Sunday to beat the Bears. Game that's closer than you probably would have liked to be if you're a Lions fan. But got the win. They're 8-2. and two. Right now, really not much competition in that division between the Bears, Packers, and the Vikings. So I think Detroit, definitely, definitely that Super Bowl contender. I mean, not Super Bowl contender. I think they're on the verge of that, but they're definitely a playoff lock, if you ask me right now. Packers, long way to go. I um, think there's definitely some... Some issues need to be addressed. I think Jordan Love is at the top of that, as well as some of their receivers. Don't really know what to make of the Packers just yet. Um, I think they have a lot of talented players, but if I were them, I would potentially look at maybe maybe trying to trade some of those assets in the offseason and see what you could mortgage from there. So Houston Texans, arguably the surprise story of the year. Definitely a playoff hopeful. Um, that AFC South, uh, which we'll get a run of those teams right here, is a division that is much, much better than I think a lot of people expected it to be. Jaguars are seven and three. You've got the Texans at six and four, Colts at five and five, and then the Titans are we'll get to them later. But man, CJ Stroud, Tank Dell. What a duo that is. Um, CJ Stroud's got to have Offensive Rookie of the Year on lock at this point. Um, it's had some questionable decision-making and some turnover issues the past couple games, but this is a team that I think, no matter who you are, down the stretch of your season, this is not a team you want to see on your schedule. They only seem to be getting better. They're finding ways to win. Really like, Really like the Texans and the culture that D'Amico Ryans is building over there. So the Colts are next. I'm going to put them in the positive for next year. Um, Anthony Richardson, what he showed this year, in my opinion, was pretty good. I think he's clearly got to learn how to not get hit as much um, when running. I think Anthony Richardson has all the potential in the world. I think he showed the flashes of that when he played this year. As a Jags fan, him and C.J. Stroud, that's not a fun Fun two quarterbacks to have to play twice a year, and they're only going to get better, you would presume. So I really like the Colts, what they have going. I think they've gotten a lot of guys to step up. I think Shane Steichen is the right coach. And as someone who lives in Indy, but also as a Jags fan, it scares me how good the Colts and the Texans both could be going forward. So the Jags, this is an interesting one. Um their game against the Texans, I think, will this upcoming week will really decide this division. I'm going to put the Jaguars in the playoff locks, though. I think, man, it's tough between 
I mean, all three of them right in that really close to each other, honestly, especially between the Texans and the Jags. I just think the Jags are a little bit more experienced. I think they have a better roster, a little bit better coaching, but really interesting to see how the Jags finish down the stretch and very anxiously awaiting um, our game Sunday against the Texans. But I like the momentum the Jags pulled. They laid an absolute egg against the Niners, but came back with a statement win against the Titans. So, yeah, I think the Jaguars will be in the playoffs one way or another this year. Chiefs, this is going to be our first team in the Super Bowl contender list. A lot of problems at receiver for this team. Um, don't get me wrong. I think this team has their issues, but they've had one of the best defenses in the league this year. Um, can't say enough about how good that defense has been. Man, I just, as long as you got Patrick Mahomes, Travis Kelsey, you've got a chance. That defense keeps playing like it is, and the offense picks up. That's going to be the team to beat in the NFL this year. Um, so still really like the Chiefs, still pretty high on them. Chargers, man, this is a tough one. Uh, they have all the talent in the world. Should have won that game in Green Bay. Seven drops by the receivers. And I don't think they're definitely not going to make the playoffs. I'm going to put the – golly. I'll put the Chargers in a long way to go. Um, This one might be a little bit controversial – I just, I don't know. There's just too many question marks for me. A lot of their players can't stay healthy. Um, they can't really seem to find an identity on this team. I really like Justin Herbert. I like a lot of the pieces that they have, but there hasn't been cohesion, and they're not winning the close games like you'd want to see a team this talented do. So, I think they've really got to look themselves in the mirror, especially coaching-wise. So Rams, I'm also going to put them a long way to go. I think there's really – I mean, I don't know. That's another tough one. I think there's still a lot to be filled out on that roster. Um, I think Puka Nakua and Cooper Cup are a great receiver duo. I'm guessing Stafford will be back next year as well as Aaron Donald, but there's still a lot of holes on this team that need to be patched up. So, yeah. Raiders, they're in an interesting spot. They're getting some momentum. I still don't think they're that good of a team. I'm going to put them positive for next year. I don't think they're better than the Broncos, it's just from a divisional standpoint. I do like them over the Chargers right now which sounds crazy to say with everything that's going on with that team. But they seem to really like um, Antonio Pierce. They seem to be playing really hard for him. They're getting it figured out a little bit. Still several holes in this team, but I think they've got Devontae Adams back on board. They still have Josh Jacobs, Max Crosby. They've got the pieces I think they really just need to nail one of these drafts and then find the right head coach, which I don't know if that's Antonio Pierce or not, but I think the Raiders have got a lot to be positive about. Miami Dolphins. I'm going to put them in the playoff locks. I really like them to win that division. They had that really bad game against the Chiefs, but this is a team that can go get 70, as we saw this year. I'd... I just like the Dolphins. I think they've got a lot going for them. I think they're a good enough team that they can beat anyone in the league. Just need to see one of those staple road wins for me to put this team in a Super Bowl contender. Had they beat a Philadelphia or a Kansas City this year, which they both played, I could see them being in the Super Bowl contenders. But without that real statement win, makes it a lot harder to move them up. So... Minnesota Vikings, playoff hopeful for me. Uh, Josh Dobbs, really lighten it up. They're going to get Justin Jefferson back in a week or two. Like I mentioned earlier, NFC is pretty weak this year. 
I think they still have a chance. Um, they've got enough talent on that team. They seem to have rallied and really come together. So I think this team has a chance to make the playoffs. I just really think it's going to – they're going to go as far as Josh Dobbs can take them, and I hope I hope he takes them into the playoffs. Patriots, this one's easy, a long way to go. I mean – what a fall from grace this team has had over the past couple of years. I mean, there's just there's really just no words to describe how bad they are. They're easily the worst team in the league, and they're going to be looking for a big overhaul this offseason, I believe. So, the Saints, it's Cade's team, I still think – I'm going to put them in positive for next year. I don't know. I'm going to check what their record is right now. I'm really not too sure. I know that the NFC South, well, they're tied for first in the NFC South. We'll, we'll move them up to playoff hopeful. I think in that division, they could definitely make it. I mean, they've got some very winnable games. Falcons on there twice. The Rams, the Giants, the Panthers. I mean, this is a team that I could definitely see winning winning this division. So I like a lot of what they have. I think there's definitely maybe a need at coach. I think they could definitely look to upgrade at coach this offseason. But I think they have a quarterback who's more than capable. They've got all the weapons in the world. Just got to find a way to make the money work. So Giants, long way to go. I mean, just like the Patriots, it's pretty self-explanatory. I mean, they've seemingly all their momentum from last year is gone, and I, mean, I don't, I don't know if Brian Dable's a fraud or not, but not, not a big fan of Brian Dable. He seems just a little bit too, too sporadic and hot mannered for me. But Giants have got a lot of work to do. Jets. Positive for next year. Hopefully they can get Aaron Rodgers back. Keep a lot of that core intact. Um, I mean, a team that, in my opinion, really is just a quarterback away. And sad to see Aaron Rodgers get hurt on the first game this year. They just benched Zach Wilson. I mean, it, it's really just the quarterback for the Jets, if you ask me. So I think they have... A lot of positives with the defense. Hopefully they can get Aaron Rodgers back close to close to being his true self for next year. I just really hope they don't pull off a couple crazy wins and then Rodgers tries to rush back and gets hurt even worse. So yeah, a lot to a lot to be desired from the quarterback with that team. Eagles, Super Bowl contender, pretty easy. They play tonight, which rematched the Super Bowl last year. I could very well see it being the same Super Bowl this year. Eagles are star-studded at every position. Got the quarterback on the defense. Very susceptible against the pass, which kind of scares me against a team like the Chiefs. Even if you look in the NFC playoffs, like the Lions to some extent. I mean, there's definitely gettable gettable offenses that can there's offenses that can get this Philadelphia defense in the air so I like what Philly has I think they're well coached they have a great roster just gonna be just gonna be in my opinion up to that pass defense and that secondary as to how far they go Steelers playoff hopeful I mean I think yet again they're gonna have a really bad you know, offensive season, but get carried by that defense and end up either in the playoffs or right on the verge. Without Mark Andrews and Joe Burrow, the division is now a lot more open for them, especially with the solid record that they do have. Losing to the Browns does hurt, but I think one of those teams, sadly, is going to have to have to win that division, which, man, well, or the Ravens. The Ravens could probably win that division, but in my opinion, it's between the Ravens and the Browns for the FC North. Seattle haven't watched 
much of them really this year. I'm not even entirely sure what their record or standing is. I, I know they've had a solid season, six and four. Unfortunate loss to the Rams, but put the put the Seahawks in playoff hopeful. I definitely think they could make the playoffs. Um, I don't see them catching the Niners, but tough schedule to close. Um, that's for sure. Yeah, I have to see what Seattle's really made of down this stretch, but I think they've got enough pieces to to make it into the playoffs in a in a weaker NFC. Niners Super Bowl contender. Really hope we get to see this Niners Eagles matchup at full strength this year, unlike last year in the playoffs. I think San Francisco is the best roster in the NFL. If I said that about the Eagles, I mistaken. I think it's the Niners, McCaffrey, George Kittle, Ebo Samuel, Brandon Ayuk has really come on this year. A defense we all, especially now with the upgrades they've made. I mean, my God, injuries are really the only thing stopping this team. Um, I think Brock Purdy's solid. I don't think. He's a top 10 quarterback, but I I think he's a quarterback. It's certainly not going to lose you games. So I really, really like the Niners. And yeah, any anything can happen between Niners and the Eagles, in my opinion. Tampa Bay, another playoff hopeful. I think they are. I feel like they're right in the race in the NFC South. Four and six. Which is a little unfortunate, but they've got pretty solid, like very winnable schedule to close Panthers, Packers, the Panthers twice, the Packers. I think that Colts game is a bit of a toss up, but I could see I could see Tampa Bay making making a push towards the end of the year. Um NFC South, of course, is pretty tight other than Carolina. So I mean really anything can happen in that division. But I do like Tampa Bay, but I would pick the Saints to win that division right now. Tennessee, long way to go. I think they just need to blow it up. I mean, they kind of started to a little bit. I like what Will Levis has shown up to this point, but I, mean, I think you got to trade, trade some of your bigger names, get some draft picks back, try and get a little bit younger and – revamp because the AFC South is in my opinion next year going to be one of the best divisions in football and it's been one of the better ones this year even so yeah Tennessee's got some got some work to do and last but not least Washington gonna put them in the positive for next year man I I don't know what to make of this team I mean they traded away a lot of their players I mean I I think Sam Howell shown some pretty pretty solid stuff this year. You still have Terry McLaurin. Brian Robinson's not been too bad. I mean, the defense, hopefully they can make the most of some of those draft picks, which feels like they could have gotten more for the guys they ended up trading. But new ownership group seems to be a new direction in Washington. I would, I would like to see them get rid of Ron Rivera. I think that's a necessary step for this team to take the next step and be competitive in their division, which with the Cowboys and the Eagles and who really knows what the Giants are at this point, it's, it's going to take some, take some really solid drafting and just got to have the right coach at the end of the day too. So this is, this is my list. If I had to, if I had to make, any movements, I I could see Detroit being in the Super Bowl contenders. If Baltimore were fully, fully healthy, they'd be up there for me. But with no Mark Andrews, that's a significant blow to that team. I could see the Dolphins maybe getting up there, maybe the Jags. I also think the Texans could rise quite a bit. So could the Bills. There's a lot of movement to be had on this list and I think in the next couple weeks we'll get a much better idea of where these teams really stand so let me know what you guys think in the comments thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one